Hey guys, Marianne Elliott from 360 Mortgage Solutions. So today I wanted to jump on and have a talk to you about living expenses. I recently had a first home buyer phone me to ask me questions around how a bank will assess someone's living expenses. To give you some context, when a bank is looking at and assessing how much you can afford to borrow, whether you're a first home buyer or whether you've previously purchased, it's irrelevant. They will ask you for a list of what you spend on your day-to-day -day living expenses. Now, these expenses include things like groceries, because we know they cost a fortune, um, how much you spend on your mobile phone, transport. They'll spell it out into each individual category to get an idea of how much you spend. Now, what the banks and lenders will do is they will look at what you spend each month or what you claim to spend versus what the average person your age on your income would be spending. So this is against the HEM. Now, if you're spending less than HEM because you're living quite frugally or you're a good saver, then the bank is going to use the HEM average just to give a bit of a buffer. And if your spending is above what the average is for your age, income and living situation, then the bank is going to use your actual living expenses. Now, I know what you're thinking. This really sucks because how are we A, going to know what the average is so that we can try to manipulate the figures to come in under? And I think it's really important, and this is what the conversation was yesterday on the phone with the first home buyer, to talk about more why this is the case. The reason the bank have this policy and all banks and lenders do is because they want to make sure that you can not only afford your home, but that you can afford your home with your current lifestyle that you're accustomed to. The last thing the bank wants to do is have you go from living a quite lavish lifestyle to purchasing a home and having to have baked beans on toast for the rest of your life because that's all that you can afford. So the bank wants to get an idea of what your current living costs are so they can ensure that you can afford, you can continue to afford to go out for breakfast if that's something that, that lights you up or have your children attend a private school if that's something that's important to you. So bear in mind that there is something you can do if you're worried about your living expenses and that is you can go through your budgeting and cut back your current expenses. With that in mind, my advice to first home buyers or anyone who's looking to purchase if you are worried about living expenses is, is to go through your budget first. Have a look at where your expenses are going and where there's some areas that you can tweak to really save some money. Then once you've looked at your budget and found areas that you can save some money, have a look at whether you can afford to make the new mortgage repayments and be living your current lifestyle. If you struggle to make the pretend mortgage payments and continue your lifestyle, then that's a decision you need to make about cutting back and if you still want to purchase in that price range with having cut back your living expenses. And before you've purchased is a great way because when cutting back your living expenses for three months, say, prior to purchasing, if you absolutely hate it and can't do it, then that's your answer. Whereas if you can do it and it inspires you and, and makes you more motivated, then that's your answer. The other little bonus to cutting back before you purchase, aside from showing the bank and yourself that you can afford it, is it will also give you some extra savings because all those funds that were going to out for breakfast or whatever those extra living expenses were can be funneled into your savings account because the more deposit you have when it comes to purchasing your property, the easier it's going to be for you. So guys, with monthly living expenses, there is no quick fix, but... I do have a free budgeting template. If you would like a copy, I'll pop a link below and you can grab a free copy of my budgeting template. It's a great Excel spreadsheet. So you can plug in all the numbers, have a look at the end result, and then go back through and change all the numbers as you need to. If you have any questions, feel free to touch base. But otherwise, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next episode.